So you've got this dazzling D&D character meticulously crafted and it's a masterpiece, be it your first or your hundredth. However, your proficiency in mathematics and English have left your artistic endeavors yearning for improvement and your imagination exceeds your pencil wielding abilities. Or perhaps time is the resource you can't spare to dedicate to your new chaotic neutral edgelord who's bound to become mimic chowder in next week's campaign anyway. Well, I'm Dunk from Dunk's Dungeon, and I shall unveil the art of producing a character portrait in mere minutes, harnessing one of the most formidable AI image generators available to us today, Midjourney. So without further ado, let's delve right in. To breathe life into our beloved character, we must first select an image generating AI. My current favorite is Midjourney, boasting the most satisfying and consistent results. Yet the realm of AI is evolving at breakneck pace, with giants like Google and Microsoft entering the arena, ready to seize the prize and offer you the world for free. And by free, I mean they'll claim every intangible aspect of your existence, monetize it, and toss you a few free images as a thank you. The techniques I'm about to impart in this tutorial shall serve you well as the bedrock for most contemporary image generators. This video is but the first in a trilogy designed to craft the finest likeness of your alter ego and eventually your entire adventuring party. To commence, you shall require a verified Discord account and a mid-journey membership plan. Fees start at a meager $10 per month and unless you find yourself ensnared in the inescapable clutches of character generation obsession, the $10 a month plan shall suffice. I recommend opting for the month to month subscription as the lightning speed of AI's advancement within the next 12 months is guaranteed. And who knows what better options lie just around the corner. Once you create a Midjourney account and pay your premium, you'll open a Discord and select the Midjourney server. Here you will see a bunch of chat rooms. Select one of the newbie rooms and just take a moment to peruse the creations of others. I often draw inspiration from these archives, which also serve as a veritable treasure trove of ideas and what prompts to use enriching your understanding of Midjourney's AI capabilities. But before you embark on your creative odyssey, there is one crucial step I advise you undertake. Activate the remix mode, for it shall save you tons of time in your creative journey. Type forward slash settings and ensure that remix mode is selected. And now let's get started in our first generation. Type slash imagine and succinctly depict your character. Perhaps a wizard with short gray hair, a tightly trimmed gray beard, resplendent in purple robes, clutching a tomb of forbidden knowledge in one hand and a fiery orb of chaos in the other. Within approximately 30 seconds, you shall be presented with four images and nine options. These images are designated from one to four, starting in the upper left hand corner to the lower right hand corner. You can upscale, diversify or regenerate. To upscale, choose your preferred image and click the U button that corresponds. Then right click to download or obtain the image link. The image link is very important for intermediate and advanced techniques. Next click on the vary button and mid journey shall spawn four subtle variations of the image you chose. If nothing is exactly like you want, but you are close, hit regenerate for four new images. If you selected remix mode in your settings, you can subsequently edit the prompt to fine tune your image. Upon selecting your favorite image, you'll be greeted with a plethora of additional options, which I shall delve into in a future episode. Feel free to tinker with them as they make for a delightful experiment. And thus you possess a portrayal of your hero to flaunt before friends and foes alike. But why settle for commendable when the realm of extraordinary beckons? Behold these easy modifications to elevate your creation to perfection. Number one, aspect ratio parameter, dash dash small a small r. This parameter shall determine the aspect ratio diverging from the default one to one or square. I personally favor 16 by nine for expansive full screen images and 24 by 36 for grand poster sized marvels. Should the needs arise, Remix mode allows you to alter the aspect ratio of a pre-existing image. Number two, the no parameter, dash dash small n small o. Are there vexing elements within your image recurring like an unwelcome curse? Worry not, for the no parameter allows you to banish multiple annoyances separated by the common comma. Number three, white background. 
Employ this incantation to conjure a pristine image in your character, free from distracting backgrounds. This is ideal for seamlessly integrating your creations into tools like Photoshop or for assembling a group portrait with fellow adventurers. Number four, setting the style. In your prompt, decree whether your style wants to be a photorealistic or comic art style, catering to your artistic sensibilities. Use the vary and remix options to compare the two. Number five, anime model, dash dash N I J I five. Dabble in the diverse art styles of anime by invoking this parameter. This allows Midjourney to harness a model predominantly trained on anime images. Witness dynamic poses and lively expressions as your character adopts the vibrant style of cartoons. For an extra flourish, incorporate anime character sheet in the prompt to conjure a sheet of diverse postures and moods. Number six, Dungeons and Dragons miniature. Imbue the phrase Dungeons and Dragons miniature into your prompt to summon an image reminiscent of a miniature figurine, faithfully mirroring your character's visage. Then proceed to Hero Forge and recreate your character in glorious 3D. My ultimate piece of wisdom for novices is to seek camaraderie and enlightenment within a community. Within the Midjourney Discord, you'll find a pre-established groups willing to help, or join a Facebook group like AI TTRPG Resources, where seasoned scholars shall guide you to the perfect depiction of that elusive female dwarf or furbolg druid. Now, should you yearn to experiment with AI without committing to the $10 fee for Midjourney, consider investigating Leonardo.ai or Stable Diffusion. These web-based platforms offer a taste of art generation with a few complementary generations per day. As I have pledged my coin to Midjourney, my explorations into these realms have been limited, but they work very similar to Midjourney. Nevertheless, keep in mind that we find ourselves in the midst of an AI arms race. Who shall emerge triumphant remains obscured to the fates. But one thing is certain, it's bound to be an exhilarating journey until Skynet inevitably pushes the big red button. The survivors of the nuclear fire called the War Judgment Day. Next week, I shall publish an intermediate guide with information on setting up a private Discord server, harnessing your existing images to train the AI, divulging the best website for advanced prompt design, and deciphering some of the more complex parameters. If this topic interests you, I beseech you to subscribe and accompany me on this epic quest. And as always, may you roll well, and more importantly, roll often. <laughs>